Welcome to this lab. In this lab, we're going to look at deploy ADK agents to agent engine. So the objective is in this lab is you will learn the benefits of deploying agent to agent engine. Secondly, how to grant required roles to the reasoning engine service agent. Third, how to deploy an agent to agent engine using the ADK command line interface. Fourth, how to query an in agent deploy to agent service. Fifth, how to monitor your deploy agents and finally how to de delete your agents. So first of all, we have to open the cloud shell. Okay, so in the task one, we're going to install the ADK and set up the environment. So we will enable the Vertex AI recommended API. By default, the Vertex, in this lab, we already enabled the Vertex API. And then now we just have to open the Cloud Shell workspace. So make sure you enable your Vertex AI API before you start doing this project. Now I want to download and install the ADK code sample for this lab using this command here. So this command is to install the Google ADK. Now we will paste this command to copy the file from the cloud storage bucket and unzip it. And next we will install the additional requirements. Okay, so um for this following command is to create the dot env file in the ADK to agent engine directory. Okay, that is done in order to view the env file you have to toggle the hidden file. So under the view and then toggle the hidden file. There you go, you can see the env file now. And we will copy the env file to the agent directory to provide your agent necessary authentication configuration once it is deployed. So we have finished the task one, move on to task two, to deploy to agent engine using the command line deploy method. So ADK command line interface provides shortcut to deploy agents to agent engine, cloud run, and Google Kubernetes engine GKE, you can use the following base command to deploy to each of these services. So these are the commands here. So we can view the Review the instructions for this summarizations agent. So we need to right click the transcript agents and click allow. And then select new file. Name the file as requirements. And we will paste the following into the file. Save it. Now in the Google Shell terminal, we will deploy, use, run the deploy command, which is this one. So you can follow the status from the log file that will be linked from the command output during the deployment. The following steps are occurring. A bundle of artifacts is generated locally comprising of these files, which is asterisk.pkl, which is a pickle file corresponding to local agent. The next one is requirement.txt, this file from the agent folder defining package requirement. Then lastly, dependency.tau.gz, a tau file containing any extra package. So the bundle is uploaded to cloud storage using a defined directory if specified for staging the artifacts. 
the cloud storage URI for the respective artifacts are specified in the package spec. The Vertex AI engine service receives the request and build container and spin up HTTP server on the backend. So the deployment should take about 10 minutes. So you notice that there is a uh, URL here. You can click to see the log activity. Okay, so the deploy agent is completed. Now we go to the task tree that is to get and query an agent deployed to agent engine. So to query the agent, you must first grant the authorization to call the models via Vertex AI. So you can go to the IAM. Click this project and then select this include Google provided role grants and look for the API platform reasoning so engine service agent, this one. And then click the edit pencil to edit it and you want to add another row. So you can type in the row here. World text AI user. All right. If you deploy the agent that uses tools to assess other data, you will grant access to those systems to this service agent as well. Now click Save. So you can go back to the shell. And then within the ADK in agent engine directory, you can open the query agent query agent engine file. So you review the code and commands commands to notice what it is doing. So we have the first one that is to import all the necessary library and then the f next one is load environment variables and initialize the Vertex AI and then we will initialize the Google Cloud login with the correct project ID. Then next is initialize Vertex AI with the correct project and location. Then uh, we have a filter agent engine by the app name in the .env file and get a sessions for the remote app and then run the agent with this hard-coded input and then print the response. That's it. So that is the summary here. Now review the transcript passed to the agent so that you can evaluate if it is generating an adequate su summary. Okay, so in the Cloud Shell Terminal, we will go back to the terminal now. Let me clear this screen and run this. So the example output, the virtual agent, a vehicle sales agent, initiated the conversation. The user expressed interest in buying a boat after the agent asked for more clarification on the boat size, the user specified a budget of fifty thousand. To which the agent replied, "It would be, it would get a very nice boat." The user then decided to proceed with the purchase. 
So in the task four, we're going to view and delete agents deployed to agent engine. So when your agent has completed the deployment, return to the browser tab showing the cloud console and navigate to agent engine. This one. And then in the regions, make sure you selected US Central 1. You will see the deploy agent's name display here. Click on it to enter its monitoring dashboard. So you notice both the metrics and the sessions tabs that will give you, give you insights into how your agent is being used. When you are ready to delete your agent, you can select the deployment details. This one from the top of the monitoring dashboard and back in your browser, tap running the cloud shell terminal, paste the following command, but don't run it yet. So we won't run this yet. So back to the console here, copy the name, which will have this uh, very long format. And then go back to the cloud shell and replace the name into here. And then press enter. Yep, you can see that the agent is now deleted. So I can return to the agent engine now. And then if you click on this, you can not see any agent here. It's because already deleted. In order to view the simple Python SDK code to list and delete agent, you can use this uh, utils file. And finally, congratulations, we have completed the lab. Now you can end the lab.